Nestled in the corner of Southeast Asia, the country of Vietnam is home to some of the most beautiful landscapes on Earth. The country is about 1,025 miles long, and in some areas Vietnam is only 30 miles wide. Because of its long and thin layout, Vietnam built a north-south railway in the early 1900s so that residents could easily get from the northernmost city of Hanoi to the southernmost city of Ho Chi Minh. However, Vietnam is now considering constructing a new express north-south railway that is about six times faster than the existing line. Today, it takes passengers over 31 hours to travel the length of Vietnam by train. But with the proposed express railway, it would only take 5.5 hours for the same journey. While Vietnam has already completed the preliminary topographical and geological surveillance needed to plan the railway, they have not yet started construction. Originally, they announced that the building would start in 2020. However, the newest information reports that they won't begin until 2030, though some hope that they will break ground as early as 2026. And it seems that even with the delayed start, Vietnam is still hoping the express railway will be completed and ready to use by 2050, as originally planned. The government of Vietnam is hoping that this efficient railway will change the way residents and tourists travel through the country and believe it will cut down significantly on motor vehicle traffic, which is a big problem in and around major cities throughout the country. But before the Vietnam Express Railway can be built, Vietnam needs to secure an incredible amount of funding, as the estimated project cost is a whopping $58.7 billion. The proposed North-South Express Railway will start in Lang Son, and cross through more than 30 cities and towns along the country before ending in Cha Mau. It will connect the two most populated cities in the country, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, and run for an amazing 1,290 miles. This railway will not only reduce the traffic from intercity travelers throughout Vietnam, but also maximize the transportation capacity, improve connectivity between rural and urban residents, and hopefully in the long run, reduce expenses for the transportation department. Because the new railway will allow travelers to move between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh in less than six hours, which is about the same time it takes to travel by plane, Vietnam is also hoping to reduce airline traffic. As the countries of the world are all doing their part to create a more environmentally friendly world, using trains instead of planes could certainly put Vietnam on the map as one of the more sustainable countries. Overall, the government of Vietnam truly believes that this railway will build and empower its people and the nation as a whole. However, while there are certainly several significant advantages to a completed express railway in Vietnam, the proposed project does come with several challenges. Arguably, the most trying aspect of the railway is its exorbitant cost. During the planning, several Vietnam economists and government officials reported that they believed the project was economically unsound as their residents wouldn't be able to afford the standard ticket fare, needed to pay back their potential investors. Although the Vietnamese government has yet to announce just how much a train ticket will cost, some experts report that unless they are as expensive as a standard plane ticket from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh, which is about $70, the North-South Express will lose Vietnam millions of dollars. But the Vietnam government isn't ready to give up. Since reassessing the budget, they have partnered with Japan, which plans to give not only technological but also financial assistance to its neighbors in order to improve infrastructure in Asia. Keeping the budget in mind, the Vietnam Railways Corporation's current plan is broken up into several phases. Lang Son to Hanoi, 105 miles. Hanoi to Vinh City, 177 miles. Vinh City to Nha Trang, 556 miles. Naha Trang to Ho Chi Minh City, 226 miles, Ho Chi Minh City to Kanto, 86 miles, and finally Kanto to Cha Mau, 134 miles. The project predicts that they will use a double track railway with a gauge of 1,435 millimeters, with a speed of 217 miles per hour, and pass through 27 stations and 5 depots. In order to complete this extremely fast and vast railway system, Vietnam plans to use Japan's Shinkansen bullet train technology. As for now, Siemens, a German multinational technology conglomerate, is heading the project. Siemens is working alongside Vietnam's steering committee, headed by Deputy Prime Minister Tran Hong Ha, along with the Minister of Transport Nguyen Van Thang, the Minister of Finance Ho Duc Phoc, and the Chairman of the Government Office Tran Van Son. 
The steering committee is essentially in charge of ensuring the technological plans based on Japan's high-speed railway are in order, as well as ensuring progress and necessary resources stay on track. They will also organize communications between the various organizations in Vietnam and throughout Asia, involved in the planning, funding and eventual construction. And that is really quite a big job, as the Japanese Transport Ministry's Railway Bureau, Vietnam's Ministry of Transport, the Japan Consultancy Joint Venture, the Korea International Cooperation Agency, the Japan International Cooperation Agency and the Hong Kong United Investors Holding are all co-developing the project together. The idea is that the proposed North-South Express Railway will be a vital part of the Trans-Asian Railway Network and that hopefully together these countries will be able to help each other fund and build several express railways throughout the continent that will improve not only the lives of its citizens, but also Asia's overall trade and infrastructure. Though this plan sounds wildly exciting and well organized, the truth is that the expensive railways, such as the North-South Express, require a lot of work to plan, let alone build. While Vietnam and its neighbors still hope to start construction in 2030, if they do, they will still be about a decade behind schedule. And if they want to complete the railway by 2050 as originally planned, they will have to work incredibly quickly. And of course, in addition to planning and actual construction, Vietnam needs to ensure it has the funding required to complete such an immense project before it actually breaks ground. And with the current estimated cost for Vietnam's North-South Express Railway of almost unbelievable $58.7 billion, Vietnam doesn't nearly have enough. It's important to note that with Japan's tested and proven bullet train technology and years of geographical planning, the construction delay is truly based on a lack of money, not on mechanical or industrial setbacks. While all high-speed railways are expensive, the North-South Express Railway in Vietnam is especially costly. Some experts have noted that the proposed railway is even more expensive than it should be. With the current budget, the North-South Express Railway will cost $23.5 million per mile whereas a recently constructed bullet train in China only cost $16.7 million. But the Vietnamese Deputy Minister of Transport claims that the higher price tag is due to the complicated terrain in Vietnam, which is so diverse and complicated. And while there are a wide variety of organizations involved in the meticulous planning of the railway, exactly who is investing and how much they are willing to contribute is still a little confusing. At this time, the official funding for the railway is coming from the Vietnamese government with help from Japan. However, as the two countries cannot seem to lock down the required investments, that may change in the near future. In fact, while Japan is desperate to be involved with the project, some argue that it could change hands and be taken over by China if they do not finalize the budget and start construction soon. Although Vietnam has certainly had issues working with China in the past, China has incredibly deep pockets and it's already spending a great deal on its Belt and Road Initiative to ensure countries throughout Asia improve their transportation and infrastructure to better the continent as a whole. Some say that if China offers the funding as well as its own impressive bullet train technology, Vietnam may have no choice but to switch its alliance from Japan to China to complete the project. As with any major international project, the North-South Express Railway in Vietnam is important not only for the residents and tourists within the country, but it will also affect the international relationships between Vietnam and other countries in Asia. Whether Vietnam decides to stay with Japan for funding and technology, or switch and work with China instead, will absolutely influence how these countries work together, not only on this project, but on other railways and infrastructure projects in the future. Although there is still quite a bit of debate as to what will happen next when it comes to investors, according to the most recent reports, Vietnam finally set a specific investment policy on February 8, 2023. However, it has yet to be approved. Currently, the Ministry of Transport is still waiting for the Prime Minister to accept the new proposal, and they are hoping to get an answer by the end of 2023. While the North-South Express Railway in Vietnam is certainly one of the country's largest and most important projects at this time, it's not the only railway Vietnam hopes to construct in the near future. In fact, they already have plans in place to build a high-speed railway connecting Ho Chi Minh and the Mekong Delta region, ending in Can Tho, that will cost only $5 billion and be privately funded by Canada's More Fund Financial Inc. This and other infrastructure plans, as well as the amazing North-South Express Railway, will hopefully allow the residents and visitors of Vietnam the freedom to explore the country and all of its beauty efficiently and affordably. 
If it can be done, the railway would not only improve lives in Vietnam, but also reduce fossil fuels from the many domestic flights that fly from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh every day, and even increase trade and cohesive infrastructure in all of Southeast Asia. However, in order for that dream to come true, Vietnam, Japan, and several other countries in Asia that are working together to improve the continent's railways will need to work exceptionally hard to get this important railway built in the next 25 years, as they originally planned, or at all. Excited for more construction wonders? Click the video on your screen to unravel how Pakistan is constructing the world's tallest dam on the Indus River. See you there!